So a lot of branches and debris and stuff came down uh, like this. This is uh, in my back, well actually it's my neighbor's backyard, but you can see they had a lot of dead stuff in here and the storm really, you know, kind of clears some of that stuff out. This one is still attached, but this was a big chunk of tree that came down in the yard and we're seeing that all over the city. I'm kind of happy about some of it. You can see all of these pieces. And they came off of my palm tree. And that stuff, I think, looks kind of messy if it doesn't come down every now and then. And look who's watching me in my backyard. Hi, Callie. Hi, Max. So cleanup crews are out. And uh, insurance companies are sending out messages telling you to notify them as is the power company. So there's a lot going on right now, a lot of busy hustle going on around the area. Again, this stuff I don't think is, is bad at all because that's clearing out the trees. A lot of this fools the eye though, because usually when I see this, I think right away, turtles. And these are not turtles. They're of course, pieces of the palm tree. Or when I see that, I think right away it's an alligator but not after the storm. But who knows, we'll probably see turtles today and gators. If I do, I'll make sure I put them on camera. Turtles are hard to catch. And I don't mean catch, I mean even capture on video because they seem to have a sixth sense. And the turtles know, you know, you start to approach them and get your phone out, take a picture, and you can be 30 feet from them and they'll go under. There's another big branch down, dangling from the tree. But I imagine that's all we're gonna see this morning because what damage is there to see here except damage to the trees? We were really extremely lucky because for about 24 hour period, we got really bad wind. And um, the rain really never came. Uh, I mean, it was on and off, sporadic, but that type of rain that you associate with hurricanes never came, uh, at least down here. I know it hit up in the Big Bend, but we're very fortunate. And I am seeing, you know, the electric vehicles, and I don't mean electric vehicles, I mean vehicles out doing uh, repair to uh, the grid. Uh, I see that out and about, but, um, not not a lot of flooding in the area so that's really good news and of course people are already out doing their own cleanup now it's not to say we're completely off the hook for water because people who are near uh, the, the shore and they're near the water and near the coast they did get hit with the surge and it was a pretty powerful surge I'll show you some pictures of Marco Island I'm seeing a lot of docks and things, uh, sidewalks underwater. I haven't heard a lot of reports of a lot of damage to homes. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. We'll know more in the coming days. In storms like this, it's usually the water that we have to be concerned about. Water causes a lot of damage. The wind damage is usually to roofs. We don't have homes, not a lot of them, with siding around here. So it's usually the roofs that suffer most of the damage. And of course, things falling on structures. Boy, it's about 8 a.m. It's getting humid. Ooh, I'm gonna have to mop myself off when I get home. But all in all, it looks pretty good. As you look across, you see a lot of debris branches and that kind of thing, but that's nothing. And by the way, this is about three or four houses down from mine, and this really is the start of the wild Everglades. There's nothing but this between me and Miami. So here's where the bears and the panthers and the pythons and the skunk apes all live for miles and miles and miles. So very peaceful here in the morning. And I'm really glad that um, we were saved from a lot of damage that storm was way out over the gulf so that was really good news 
and I had a couple of videos leading up to the storm and I know people are interested, well, what actually happened? So um, fortunately, not a lot. So thanks for watching everyone. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you here next time on the Average Me channel.